So I've decided on an outdoor project and what I want to build is a outdoor pizza oven. With that in mind, we went down to Home Depot, we bought a bunch of bricks, bricks and some other concrete work and we're going to set it up in the yard. So I decided I wanted to set this up in an old pad we had here. We used to have a tin shed and it had a lot of sidewalk blocks there. So this looked like a great place to set it up instead of being on the lawn. Wanted to make sure it was level first, so you see I'm leveling it out there. And I'll actually put some shims on those 4x4s just to make sure it's level. And I thought I'd build it up, and what I'm trying to do is build it up higher using some of the materials we had here. So just, you know, a sidewalk block on top of those 4x4s and a couple of shims there. Then another 4x4 to get a little more height. And the idea is we're going to get it up about 20 inches off the ground so we can sit in a chair and, and watch the fire as it's burning. So I just kept salvaging the sidewalk blocks. The former owner put them along the fence. I think they just put them there for storage. They had too many of them, which is coming in handy for us because I can use them salvage instead of getting new materials. And this will be the final one I put on top. So we're about, what, 4, 16, 18, 20 some inches high off the ground. After that, I'm going to start building the actual oven on top of that sidewalk block. So it's off to the car with the wheelbarrow and get those, I don't know, the odd 600 pounds of material out of the trunk of the Corolla in the back seat. Bring them over to the area where I'm going to build this. This makes it a little easier on my back, I'll tell you, because I'm not getting any younger. Here we go. And then we start building the base. So it's just a matter of stacking these bricks. And the nice thing is, if it's built wrong, you can always take it apart and build it again. I'm going to go three layers high, and that'll be my burner inside of there where I'd actually do the burning of the wood and then you put this slab on top it's 16 by 24 which I hope is the right size for cooking we'll find out but it's a nice size so then it's back to the car get some more bricks and I believe this is the final load of bricks because on top of that we're going to put another two layers of bricks on top so that the heat will come up there and you'll notice I'm leaving a gap at the back there where the heat actually comes up and I'll show you where my hand goes through there to show you where the heat's going to come up and transfer to the top level and it comes right through that gap in the back there and we can adjust the gap as we build this so I put two high and this is the top that is going to keep all the heat in there so I'm going to just do a little test run here with the fire so you've got the burner on the bottom it heats that slab that's just above it where you do the cooking and then the convection part would be the heat coming up the back there oh it's just burning fantastic actually I just give it a short test run I didn't really cook anything I'm thinking uh, probably on the weekend when it gets a little bit warmer you notice I'm wearing a heavy jacket yet when it gets a little warmer we'll sit out there and have a drink and see how it works but for now I just tested cooking some bread and a piece of dough it didn't work that great but I can see some future potential coming so that's my do-it-yourself outdoor pizza oven and we'll have more episodes later thanks for watching